Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in wave propagation. We are discussing ionospheric propagation and in this video we will talk about the second measure of ionospheric propagation that is virtual height. This is an important parameter for communication engineers to an electromagnetic wave if you wish to send it via sky wave propagation. Now if you look at the uh, diagram here, uh, if the transmitter is sending some signal at some incident angle and it is it is well within the reach of the uh, cutoff frequency range so that signal is bound to come back after subsequent refractions as mentioned and it will turn back and be received at some observation point or the receiver and the actual path will be T P C Q R and this is by the way c dash uh, it it is a gradual change so this is known as the actual height and for the mathematical convenience we take this t p c dash q r to be the uh, virtual height of the uh, transmission uh, so you can make a note that virtual height will always be greater than the actual height of the sky wave propagating signal for this triangle the mathematical calculations become very easy and it becomes easier to find the range of the uh, transmission if the virtual height is known so that being said we'll define the uh, virtual height now the virtual height is that height from which a wave sent up at certain angle appears to be reflected it looks like it is it has reflected from c dash from this reflecting surface but actually it started to uh, bend at uh, some altitude below than C dash and the importance of uh, virtual height is that the greater the, uh, the virtual height the larger the range of the transmission could be if virtual height of the layer is known it is easy to calculate the angle of incidence also and we can also find the range and uh, we can know the desired path or the point at which the wave will turn back so to measure virtual height we use an equipment known as ino sonde and th this will send a signal vertically into the ionosphere and it will come back after uh, reflection from the ionosphere and the observation point is uh, kept also very very close to the transmitting uh, signal and we simply use the formula speed into time is equal to distance and the distance covered is twice of h as you can see so height comes out to be half of c into t and a typical numerical could look something like this if for a pulse of given frequency transmitted vertically upward is received back after a period of 5 milliseconds so we know the time here is 5 milliseconds it travels at the speed of light so we can easily calculate the height and the height turns out to be 7.5 into 10 raised to the power 5 meters so we need to take care of two things that the electromagnetic wave that we are sending is vertical in nature so it is not incident at some angle and uh, it is turning back uh, with a minimal uh, distance between the transmitter and the observation point and that is how we can use this approximation because we have taken this to be twice of h here so that can only be possible if we keep these two points at a very very small distance well that's about it for virtual height that i wanted to discuss today i hope you liked this quick video and if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing share this video amongst your friend i'll see you around in the next video take care bye bye